I couldn't let this week go by without discussing something in this week's Parsha that is the fundamental of our Torah. And that is, God says, to love your fellow as you love yourself. Of course, this is a very difficult um, thing to do. And what exactly is God trying to say? Um, and in order to know that, of course, you have to look about what comes before it, what comes after it. And if you look before it, there's a whole host of commandments that tell us how we are to act with one another. It tells us to give um, gifts to the poor and how we should, you know, deal with other people in, in business relationships and in, in our activities with other people. Um, in how, how, that we're supposed to pay a worker, not withhold his wages. Um, you don't curse the deaf. You don't put a stumbling block in front of the blind. Um, you don't... Um, stand and watch somebody who's in peril, who's about to be endangered. You have to help that other person, not to gossip, not to, um, not to take revenge on somebody, not to bear a grudge. All of these things God tells us, whether you feel like it or whether you don't, you do them. And, you know, it's a big part of, in our religion of doing things, whether you want to or not, you fake it till you make it. And with, with our behaviors, um, eventually you do the same thing over and over again, you will come to change and you will come to feel differently. Um, and that's like I had said this last year um, in, in an interpretation that I came up with on Kamocha, that the word ahava means to give. And when you give of somebody else, ahava, you take from yourself and you give to that other person, um, then eventually you will come to love them and they will become like you because everything that you've given of them, of, of your time, of your money, of your resources, all that, that you've given, given to them, will you'll feel invested. That, that there's something when you give to other people, uh, even advice or whatever, you feel like there's an invested in the other person. That person indeed becomes a part of you. Uh, everything that you put into that person is is a part of you. And so then you end up loving them like yourself because they do, you do have that sense, you do have that sense of attachment that they are a part of you. And you will end up loving them like you love yourself. So it's important, it's important to, to keep doing things um, regardless of how you feel. And Hashem says right after that, Ani Hashem. So we have to do it because God said so. God created us. God created them. And if God is telling us that we have to do this, then we have to. He, there's a bit of God in each person, right? Um, and, and you have to find that and focus on each person's good. And each person's good really does outweigh the bad. Look at all the positive. Um, focus on that. Um, and, you know, that's what God implores us to do. Uh, another thing which is obvious is that it says, Ani Hashem, I am God, because God sees everything. God knows everything. Um, so you can't pretend like you're doing the right thing and then stick it to him in a way that you think nobody knows. God knows that. And uh, sometimes people do that, you know, because you don't want to look bad and you just can't stand the other person. But it's bad for your own character. It's just a bad way to be. And you end up hurting yourself in the end. It's better to be a good person full of giving and full of love and to be like God, that like God is constantly giving us. Um, so we want to be like God in that way. Um, and, you know, nowadays I think it's just so important to really, I mean, this is a basic. The, the kids learn it, one of the first things. We sing it and you know, it just kind of comes out of our ears and it sounds so pithy to love everybody. And But you know what? It's not easy, and but it's something that you can work on in small steps. The small steps of just giving something small, like a smile, a handshake, a hello to someone you don't normally. Um, small things, and they build on themselves. I, I speak from experience, um, really. The more you give, the more you will love. You'll be surprised at how your whole attitude can change towards people. With that, I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.